So it's the end of day one of like the official quarantine, lockdown, shutdown. Day one, I've already had people call me or contact me, text me, asking for help. Money or anything that I can do to help. I was like, motherfucker, it's day one. Well, they officially locked California down. That's a wrap. Who knows how long it's gonna be. Day 15. Day 49. Day 88 of this lockdown, AKA never ending story that's ending today. I don't know, I guess I said two weeks, but I said we should just stay locked down for two weeks, but realistically, it's gonna be eight to 12, I think. So we're one weekend, like seven weeks to go. When this is over, I'm gonna look like the Tiger King, probably. Minus, minus the not gay, and minus the, did anybody notice, I, I watched all seven episodes yesterday, by the way. I started at six, and I got done at about one in the morning. Maybe midnight, something like that. This weekend, I tell you, th this weekend hasn't been too bad. Just because we had the uh, we had the NFL draft, and it's taken, uh, especially for guys. This is going to be a guy segment of quarantine lockdown. Like everybody else, I watched uh, the Last Dance Sunday night. That Chicago Bulls. Thank you so much for giving us that two hours of escape from this chaos. I gotta, I mean, you know what, I might do, I'm gonna do a story, a goofy story about my stepdad periodically, uh, every week. Cause there's, the, the stories are endless. They're, and if you ask my, my homeboys, my friends are always like, hey, tell me another story about your stepdad. Cause they don't stop. It's just nonstop. I walked out there and shirt off my stepdad, sucker punched my real dad at the wedding reception. At that point, the recession is basically over. It's kind of chaotic. And I remember I, you know, I, uh, it was funny. I saw, here, here's a lot that happened because one, we got 300 wedding guests, 250 black people, 50 white people, two white guys getting a fight. What are the chances? Hey, it's day 53 of the um, lockdown. Normally I'm here to be funny and make jokes and make light of everything, but I think in the wake of the Ahmad Arbery killing down in Georgia, which I've seen just about everybody post about, the two two white guys basically just tracked him down and shot him because he was jogging. I'm just so tired of being frustrated about how, you know, we are being treated. I just don't know why there's not more outrage. And it's hard to keep telling myself, be patient, let the system run run its course. Because at some point you like, you know, screw the system, they're not. And you know, that's why people's names and addresses are being posted on the internet. Like there's, I don't know, it's just frustrating. It's just sad, it's frustrating, and I'm not shocked about it. So that's where we're at today. Well, it's day 74 of the lockdown and I cannot believe I got to, it seems like I just did a video like a couple weeks ago about Ahmaud Arbery and here we go with George Floyd. Uh, I'm just dumb, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to watch. I don't know who you are. When a guy is yelling for his mother that's, that, that's literally, you know what's going through your brain right there? That's the last thing going through your brain because you can feel your life leaving you. And you're just like, I just want to see my mom. That's probably the last image he had. And no regard, nine minutes. That's unbelievable to me, unbelievable. To all my family members remaining silent, I see your silence now more than ever and it's heartbreaking to me. I understand that this may not be your reality, but it's mine. It is my mother's, it is my brother's. Your voice is one of the strongest tools you have. I beg you to use it. If any of you ever wanna reach out to me and ask me a question, 
talk about what's going on, or gain an understanding of something, I would love for you to reach out. Being silent in times like these will always be the wrong response. That's for my daughter, 17 years old. I can't believe we are, we are literally living in history right now. I mean, 2020, it's sad the circumstances that had to come to this, but this is gonna be taught 50 years from now, 2020 is gonna be taught in the history books of how this time changed our country. And now people are gonna remember 2020 as the coronavirus has shut the earth down. And then the passing of George Floyd that woke the, woke the earth up. So the corona shut it down, but George Floyd woke it up. And I'm, we're gonna be better for it in 2021, I know it.